Jabalia refugee camp in North Gaza, where the war never seems to end. Israel has been dropping bombs here for weeks. This woman keeps saying, they bombed us, they bombed us. Look, this is my uncle Salem. Record this, let people see. There's no dignity in a death like this. These men say more bodies are buried under the rubble. The UN says nowhere is safe. And across Gaza, desperate demand for food, water and medicine. It's hard to find and costs a fortune. I go to the market looking for canned food, but where do I get the money to buy it? The Israelis forced us from one place to another, and now I can't survive. I can't get food for my children. But on the edge of Gaza, a small sign of hope. Israel's Kerem Shalom border crossing. Aid trucks are now entering from here, dozens a day. But Hamas says this week, Israeli forces killed the head of the crossing on the Gaza side in an airstrike. The IDF attacked Hamas militants that came with weapons to our border. The IDF does everything in our power from one hand to uh, reach our objectives of demolishing the terror regime of Hamas while operating this large-scale humanitarian operation. But to Gazans, this isn't enough. They want Karim Shalom crossing fully opened. It is the main commercial crossing into Gaza. It's the only one that can take hundreds and thousands of trucks into Gaza to try and help the situation there. Help must come fast. But diplomats have dithered. After a week of debate, the UN Security Council has finally passed a resolution to increase aid to Gaza, but not to end the war. Today, this council called for urgent steps to immediately allow safe, unhindered and expanded humanitarian access and to create the conditions for sustainable cessation of hostilities. It's not far enough for the UN Secretary General. A humanitarian ceasefire is the only way to begin to meet the desperate needs of people in Gaza and end their ongoing nightmare. Back in Gaza, People wait for food. They wait for the war to end. And the longer it drags on, the more they lose hope. Nicole Johnston, Sky News, Jerusalem.